What's going on? My name is Christian Baker, and we're reacting to Iwa Swoboda's Iwa Awa Awa, the tree of Awa uh, from Avatar. I'm playing. I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce your name. I think it's Iwa or Awa. Awa sounds right. Awa. Hey, Awa. I can kind of see that, right? Yeah. So we're going to go with Awa. Awa Swoboda ran the world lead yesterday in a 60 meter dash. And this is only two tenths off of her PR, which is 699, which she ran in 2022. And it's only a, and it's a tenth faster than she's ran all last season. So she's moving at this early in the season. She's moving faster than she ever ran last season. And let's not forget that last season was her best year yet. That was her best year yet. She she got under the 11 second barrier. She ran 1094. She ran, she had a really great season last year, and now she just ran the world lead, and she's only two tenths off of her her uh, her 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 personal her personal best. So I'm excited to see how she looked, how she ran it, and kind of break it down for you guys, break down the nuances and things of that nature. So without further ado, let's get straight into this, man. She ran this yesterday, February 6th, at the Orlean Copernicus Cup. Um, so let's see, let's see, uh, who who was she running against? Oh, she ran against Doso. Doso was the previous world world leader, uh, uh, but before her. So yeah, she yeah she ran seven oh five, um, and that's a lie. She she ran faster than that. And Forbes, oh wait, Forbes was in this too. So we had the top three in the world in this race because Julian Alfred's four seven oh four and things like that uh so oh wow so we get we had all the top three because this is this is a lie also this, these are all lies because if you go here unless they all ran it in this race hold on let me see because Forbes yeah Forbes ran 703 but uh, I guess when 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 they did or something like that and then uh uh Alfred ran 704. Doso ran 702. So I don't know where I don't know where they're getting these numbers from. 711. Yeah, but these are yeah, these are false. These are false. But then again, World World Athletics. They, they, yeah, I'm not going to talk about them right now. Let's see, let's see what this video does. Let's the see what Hope it is. fans have been eagerly awaiting. This is a straight final. Some people have made their own signs in support of the fastest Polish athlete. We have, first of all, now representing Poland, Kristina Simonuskaya, changing allegiance from Belarus. Rani Rozios of Belgium, the European under-23 silver medalist outdoors from the 2021 edition. Patricia van der Vecken of Luxembourg has set a personal best this year of 7.09. She's world ranked number seven on time. This year is Van der Vecken. Zeynep Dosso has been in great form. 7.05 across Poland in Łódź. World ranked number four this year. The athlete that beat her in Łódź, Eva Swoboda, set a lifetime best on this track, 6.99, when winning the Polish championships a couple of years ago, the European indoor silver medalist from last year. And then Forbes. Shashali Forbes is the world leader. She ran a 7.03, although it was outdoors, so she's done the yeah, fastest. Yeah, yeah, so why, so why they got 7.11? Like, what are, what are we doing? She ran 7.03. So why they got 7.11? See, yeah. I know I wasn't crazy. I know I had the she right set. She ran a 7.03, although it was outdoors, so she's done the fastest time of 60 meters this year. Yeah, okay, so she's Those the favorite going into this. World leader, Imani Ford was the favorite going into this. Great end to last season outdoors, broke 11 seconds for the, uh, the first time. She likes running in Torun as well. Magdalena Stefanovic, part of the European Championship four by one silver medal winning team outdoors for Poland as well. So we've got three of Poland's four members of the World Championship four by one final team here. The fourth member of it was Piers Krzyzowska, who's going to be going in the 60 meters hurdles very shortly as well. But Iva Swoboda this year has run 708, 704, and then 707 in Ostrava. She has the fastest time indoors this year, 7.04. Shashali Forbes outside her from Jamaica off that personal best of 7.03, but run outdoors. What I'm really looking for out of Swoboda is how she transitioned in this race. We know how, did, how, how, how she went from acceleration to max the arena. velocity. Is that glitter in her hair? Swoboda loves the track. You see how her hair is sparkling? That's kind of fly. She loves the arena. I like that. We know nice Poland little touch, huh? Loves Svoboda. She got socks on. She's run. She racing with socks. On. That's crazy. 
I'm sorry. I don't like. I don't. Man, I be looking at people different when I see they got socks on. When I see they got socks on, they line up next to you. I'm like, yeah, you ready? You you ready to get rolled today, boy? Running with the socks on is crazy. Socks in your track spikes. That's damn near disrespectful. That glitter though, that fire. I like the little glitter. Sparkles. And she got the ice on too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I, I thought that was finna go. Y'all saw that he said set. And then he look, she looking up. I'm like, oh, hold on now. That would have been crazy. Yeah, there was some confusion there because as I said, set, Dosso, I could see was looking to her left. I don't think y'all understand the tension. So listen, when they say runners on your mark, the whole stadium usually gets quiet as a mouse. Quiet as a mouse. You can hear a pin drop. A pin drop. And when someone makes a mistake or when someone like raises their hand and they stop, it's like coming off the back end of a roller coaster. Like you get to that top and they come down like, whoa, like your heart drop. Because you thinking, it, you don't know. You're like, could this have been go or could this have been stop? You don't know what's going on sometimes. You see that person raise their hand. There's a lot of tension in the air. A lot of tension in the air. You could cut it with a knife. You can cut it with a knife when, when, when that person just runs on your mark. And then for that to happen, it kind of ices things out. And now people start getting in their head a little bit. They start getting in their head. You start thinking things through, thinking things through a little bit more, overthinking, which causes to tension. Tension reads to is the opposite of relaxation. Relax and then uh relaxation is the key to running fast. With so you tense, and that's the opposite of relaxation. And whatever you're doing is the opposite of what's gonna get you to run the best you can. You get what I'm saying? You get you picking up what I'm putting down. You see what I'm saying? So now you're getting the opportunity. Some people might relax in this moment. But there's a lot of people that are getting their own head right here. What it was, Chris. They'll start rethinking their race strategy, mm -hmm. rethinking their training, so, uh, analyzing how their bodies start. feel. No infringements by any athletes. Yeah, you see, you see, you see it's, it's nerve wracking. It's nerve wracking. You feel a little, ooh, it's a little more tense. A little more tense. Round two, let's see what it do. So, Round two, let's see what it do. Distracted by something. On your mark. Settle down again. Swoboda with the home hopes. In form, Forbes. And then there's some people that it's just, it'll, it'll calm them down even more. They're like, all right, cool. Cool. I just had all them damn butter fries and they just gave me a chance to get it all out. And I didn't even need to run to get it out. I'm good. Let's go on. Let's go and make some shape, boy. Let's go and make some shape. Set. This time they go. Oh, she's out. Pretty even starts for Boda Challenge. It's it's weird though, cause she can't. They 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 be coming up pretty quick. I don't know if it's the way the females progress through the race. That's a lot, cause Elaine Thompson, Shelly Ann, they have a very long drive phase. But these girls in this race come up pretty quick. It's probably because I mean, yes, it's a sixty, but even in Noah's sixty, he stayed down for a long time, which is what helped slingshot him. Through that finish line like he looked like he was pulling away in a 60 which is crazy but these girls like this is the 10 meter mark right 10 meters this time they go pretty they damn near upright boy they damn near up. they had like a 10 meter drive phase even starts for Boda challenge by and now, yeah they already upright by like 10 15. all start from forbes Svoboda just holding off dosu and gets the win she had to win really the ex public expected on her favorite track and she delivered. Now it's a fine line with a 60 meter dash because you do need to get those hips through a little bit quicker. But as we've seen on the men's side, you can extend it. You can extend it. You can bring it to about 20. You could, I mean, shoot, you could bring it to about 25, 30 if you know allows. And not even if you're no allows. I think people say, oh, no allows runs it differently. I think no allows runs it right. I think he runs it right. Taking your time is still staying almost just as patient as you would in a 100 meter dash. It's a little bit more violent, a little bit more explosive, but those positions he's hitting is similar to a 100 meter dash. You might be a little more patient on the back end, but he's it's around it's around that same it's between that 5 and 10 meters. I did like for them they're they're almost it's almost like a 20 meter difference in acceleration zones. Like boom, boom, boom. 
were upright. Or upright. Where if it was 100, you probably wouldn't Behind be upright that. till right here. Probably like 25, 30. Some, somewhere around there. 2025 for, for females, somewhere around there for the women's, right? And then does she get in front? Maybe she just drop alongside Swoboda at about 30, 35 but she meters. Great, though. And Swoboda, you can see her dig in and push back the challenge. It was a brilliant response from the Polish. One thing she does really well is relax. Nice and relaxed. Look at her, look left, look right. She's like, she's just so strolling through the park, Got chilling. Lovely looking sprinter too, that's a right chilling. Usually and then at the end, kind of, uh, a lovely looking sprinter too. But for her to be, picture. for her to be this relaxed in this quick of a race shows her confidence. Tension comes when you're pressing. Pressing comes when you feel like you're behind or you feel like you don't have the top end speed to catch the group. She's running confident, which is allowing her to run calm, and it's allowing her to express all the power she has and put it down into the track. It's for Bode, you can see her dig in and push back the challenge. It was a brilliant response from the pole. She's so powerful. Dosso, lovely looking sprinter too, there to ride a pick. And then you have her counterpart, who's tense the entire the race. I mean, she, oh, you know what it is? She was relaxed early until she felt the pressure of Awa. And now look she's at her. So she's so powerful. Like, mm. Dosso, lovely looking She's grinding out. She's like, I can't lose. Pizza. I can't lose. Well, her, she's like, I trust that I'm going to win. I trust my form. I trust my technique. I trust my strength. I'm going to win. Stay relaxed and keep stroking. Keep stroking. On the pole, she's so powerful. Up there. Dosso, keep stroking. Lovely looking sprinter too. Oh. To ride a picture. Relax and win. Relax and just win. Surviving, trying to hang on to. It's way easier said than done in a race because a race is exactly what it sounds like. A race. You want to win. You want to give it your all. It's hard to calm down and relax and trust your body and allow things to plan out. Allow your training to take over. Relax and win, right? That's that's easy. It's easy to say, but it's very hard to execute. And it's one of the reasons she won this race. Picture, Her ability to relax out, just and win. Trying to hang on to Swoboda, who is... Uh, so brilliant at this distance. Not the same force at 100 outdoors, but built for 60. But it's, we were talking in the Astrava meeting. And speaking on not the same force outdoors, she ran 1094 last year, so I don't know if you can say that anymore. And now that she's getting closer and closer to running consistently in that 70 range, I think every race this year, her slowest time was what, 708, 709 this year. And she's had about five or six opportunities to run. She's only in her slowest was 708, 709. And now she just put down 701, which is two tenths off of her, her personal best, 699. So that capability of being able to run that fast, that consistently in your first 60 gives you the confidence to bring to bring that acceleration bring that top in outdoors and really express that and really move the needle in the 100. now is she a podium caliber sprinter at this moment i'm not sure only time will tell but i will say these 60s help and putting her in that box i feel like is a disservice has that been what she's been in the past yes but last year she proved that she can run that 100. she's Finally touched that 10-9 barrier. She did it twice last year. Two times or three times, I believe. Something in that regard. And I think now the best step forward would be how consistent can I be under 11 this year? I'm not trying to run freakishly fast every race. Just how consistently can I be under that 11-second barrier? And then just trusting my training to allow me to progress into those faster times. So give me on the podium. You know what I mean? But I think these 60s, being able to be this explosive, this fast, and this efficient in your acceleration and drive phase can only benefit you when you get outdoors into that 100. Only benefit you. Bit you. But in regards to the world, uh, but in regards to indoor championships, I'm excited to see her line up against Julian Alford. Julian Alford is undefeated champion from NCAs last year. No one beat her indoors last year. 
No one beat her at the 200 indoors or the 60 indoors. And no one beat her the year prior indoors as well. And she went on to run 694, which is the second fastest time in the world and the fastest time in collegiate history. And she already has ran 704 in her season opener. And now we have two, three more weeks until indoor championships. And uh, Swobata has ran 701 now. 701 which is well within that wheelhouse of sub seven. Which makes me believe it's going to cost or take sub seven to win the indoor championships this year, especially with how fast these women are running. A lot of these women are running consistently in that seven zero range. So when everybody lines up next to each other, it's probably going to take sub seven zero to win it. My money is on Julian Alfred, but now seeing the way she executed this race, Seeing just how calm she is, how easy this was, I think it's going to be a good race.